many auto cues, so I'm going to read it off my cards. It's Saturday, as I like to call it, Chatter Day. I've actually never said that before in my life, but I definitely <laughs> think it could catch on. Uh, OK, we've got loads crammed into the show for you, uh, but our guest tonight has been resident of Brookside. Uh, she's the chats, uh, She's one on the Chats with the State. Do you know who it is yet? Uh, she was also in the Big Brother house. It's the shameless Tina Malone. Yay! Oh, yeah. You picked out Lydia last night, so she's also here. But first, let's see how she spent her first few hours of freedom. I can now reveal the four to be evicted is Lydia! It's Lydia. There we go. And he has said to me, the wedding is still on. The wedding is still on. No hard feelings to win on the house. Um, I'm happy to be out and I can't wait to watch it back and just see what was really going on. <laughs> it was tough to hear all those boos, but I think she's done really well to last that long. So we had one fan. know that she's got some support out there. Yeah. I think it's the loudest booze we've heard for a while. My ear is still ringing. Oh, God. <laughs> Big Brother's bit on the side. <sighs> it was an interesting uh, response when I came out of the house. It was brutal. House. Yes. Big Brother asked you what you would miss about Dina. Yeah. And you said the knife in my back. I don't really what mince knife? my words, sorry. <laughs> you might make quite a bit of money from doing a custard commercial. <laughs> At this point, that might be the only thing that I get after the show. Yes. Goodbye, Big Brother. Goodbye, Bit on the Side. Thank you for having me. I'm off to go and see Andy, and I will see you soon. Bye. kick out the best housemaid once again so whilst you're patting yourself on the back why not use the other hand to pick up the phone and call us you can ask Lydia anything you want well nearly anything you want but before that happens have a listen to these Ma. Ma. I think she was saying epilate. Was it epilate or cock soup? I can't work it out. It's one of the two. Uh, now, what was the problem with those? Apart from the obvious, yes, they didn't leave their number. Tina, tell him, leave your number. Leave your number. Yes, That's what you must do. Yeah, leave your number so that if you want to get in touch, use the details that are on the screen now, call it, and we'll get back to you. Back to you, Alice. Uh, thank you, Jamie. As ever, the house's loss is definitely our gain. She was once called ambitious and intelligent by herself. It's the la latest evictee, Lydia. You in something happened there. It's okay, I, th I think we we're going to drop you from a great height. You were going to land there. Improvise. Um, what was it like last night not sleeping in the house? Um, to be honest with you, it felt it felt good to just be away from the stress and um, just just reflect upon it. And um, you know, I, d I did have a good time. And I want people to know that. You know, the first couple of weeks I had a fantastic time. It was just the last week I, I found quite hard. But I am I have to say I am happy to be out now, and I'm loving doing all this. And it's nice not to get guys. water pistoled in your sleep, isn't it? That's always quite nice. Uh, but let's crack on. Uh, this is what's happened in the house since you were evicted. Okay. Have a look. Let's have a clap for Lydia. <laughs> 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 It's okay, I'm ready. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, that looks pretty good. Uh, you've had 24 hours to reflect on your time in the house. Yeah. Can you sum up your experience for me? I think it was nothing um, like what I thought it would be. It's definitely a lot harder than it what looks on What did you think it would be like? Um, 
do you know what? I thought I thought it was going to be a bit of a summer holiday. I packed all these summer clothes. <laughs> I had no jumpers, no jackets. Um, and I just went in there to have fun. And I didn't realise like how into it I'd get and sort of how stressful I'd you find it. You were into it. Yeah, I was really <laughs> into it. Um, and I didn't, I didn't expect that at all. Um, and most people on the outside know me as just an absolute joke. I've got the dry, dry sense of humour. And, and I think that you I forget don't forget how intense it's, it's you just, so intense. You just do. And, and it, is, it is so hard. But I'm so grateful uh, for having the opportunity to get, to get on it. Well, your housemates, your fellow housemates woke up this morning uh, without you. Let's see how they were coping. She was my like, girlfriend in the house. Oh, my God. I hope she's all right. I fucking hope so. I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's just, it's not nice to see anybody going out to booze, is it? No. I mean, even someone that you dislike, it's not... Yeah, exactly. Oh. I'm told Becky should be next. Lydia told her. Straight. And also, you've got to think about all these girls that are going to be jealous of her. She's, like, done, like, dance videos. She's got a famous boyfriend, you know what I mean? But... Oh, it used to open my eyes so much. That's what I said as well. I, I said if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't have noticed a lot of things going on. Exactly, house. exactly. Oh, that was a moment. What do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, I, I really do love those two. Um... Lauren is such a sweetheart. She's just a people pleaser, and in the house, people kind of, they're a bit nasty to her, and she really is just the nicest girl. People are kind of just suspicious, aren't they? So. Yeah, but she's just a nice girl. She's just from Jersey. She's just a nice girl. There's nothing uh, devious going on there. And Luke Hay, I just, I love him to pieces. And um, it's just nice because a lot of the other members in the in the house, as soon as someone goes, it's like, see ya, and they, they don't care. Yeah, they were definitely moved. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's just nice to see that, um, that they are my true friends. You know? Yeah, definitely. I really want to know, do you think um, Aaron and Sarah, will that happen? And we saw a bit of that tonight. If they feel like they're not getting enough airtime, then they might pull out a cheeky snot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yes. Love um, again in the Big Brother house. Yes, I call them showmances. Um, just if. You know, Aaron's definitely, Luke's got his little thing going on. I think Aaron just wants a slice of the pie, and Sarah's really the only one that might be game for it. Okay. Um, Aaron said that without you there, that Adam mm. would uh, be moving from group to group. Do you think that's kind of mm. accurate? Well, before I left, I actually had one of my little chats with my little crew. <laughs> uh, and You're good at little chats. <laughs> yeah. That's your thing. Yeah. We had one of our little chats in the smoking area, and um, I said to them, if I go, please integrate into the group, because it was what I was going to do if I stayed, because, you know, being on the outside is, is not that much fun and i said to them just just try and get in there and, and as much as possible as so, a matter of survival you well yeah at to. this point i mean you see how it's going everyone's getting picked off so they have to, they have to get in there now definitely uh well they had more to say about adam today let's have a look okay i think with her gone adam will get around a bit more yeah. more than usual mm. but then he does um, and he's being yeah. and because too, adam he's will he's being crafty yeah if not he's being crafty and if he does yeah. That means Luke will have to engage in more conversation with other people. Luke, Luke's quite stressed. Ed. They both of them have fucked it for themselves because they never done whenever she was here. And Luke's the last one from the um, from the um, scientists. Remember, mm. Luke's alright. I don't have a problem with Luke. Right. Do you think they actually thought you were scientists? He's got last remaining yeah, scientist. Yeah, it's um, a bit bizarre. What did you make of that? Um, I just, do you know what, for me, I think it's funny because apparently I'm the one with the game plan, but as you can see, there's some serious game plans in the house. Connor is, you know, by far, he's just on another level with it. Um, I, I think that, you know, Adam, I have to say, Adam's not even seen Big Brother before. Like, he literally doesn't have a clue. Yeah. So there, he doesn't have a game plan. He's just, he's literally just being himself. And, um... You know, I think they are right. I think that he will mix into the group more. I think they're not picking on Luke K because I think they don't see him as a threat, mm -hmm. but I think that they're underestimating Luke K. I'm not sure I realised that about Adam. That's quite dangerous. Yeah. I never have watched it and no, go in there. He doesn't have a clue. Like, That's really brave. He was totally <laughs> naked, like, after his showers and stuff, and he was like, is this going to be shown on TV? And we're like, yeah, yeah. Well, wow, that's eye-opening. <laughs> uh, well, uh, oh, uh, well um, that's definitely eye-opening, and so I'm glad you told me that. I've watched it in a different way now. He's uh, completely exposed. Um, now, your one-time ally, uh, ally, Dina, yes. um, has vowed to speak her mind now and stand up to the boys. Do you think she'll manage that? I hope, I really hope she does. I really hope she does. She's had such a hard time there. And I always said that I had a hard time, but she had it worse. Like, I have to mm -hmm. say she had it worse. And I hope that now she's there, she's got a bit more confidence. And I hope she does stand up to them um, and 
and, and speak her mind. I would, I'd love to see her do that, definitely. OK, well, let's talk about Scott and that mm. damn foosball table. Oh, uh, Now, he got in trouble for talking about nominating you. Yeah. Did it feel good that he got punished for it? No, no. Do you know what? I, Scott, I, he's, he's harmless. He's, he's, I, I really don't have a big issue with Scott at all, so no, there's no hard feelings. And people kind of have to talk about someone, don't they? That's yeah. kind of there's all there is to do at times. Yeah. Um, can I have the names of the two people that you would have nominated if you'd stayed in? Uh, Connor and Aaron. <laughs> Just think about it for a sec. No, uh, yeah. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. Uh, well, thanks, Lydia. Thanks for being uh, so frank. Uh, still to come, Jamie uh, will be probing Lydia deeper. Don't make a joke. I know what you lot are like. Uh, and we're going to find out whether Tina Malone's hot-headed uncle Bugsy has made his mind up. See you in three minutes and 59 seconds or something. <laughs> I'm oh. not supposed to, but I am. <laughs> She's right In a today. scary kind of uh, way. Talking of exciting, here's a never before. Ow! See you in <laughs> AKA an exclusive. You're a cheat. Oh, uh, do you know what? You know, you know, no, no, no. Do you know what? Do you know how you survive yourself in a desert? Right. This is what you do. You Hola. get the skin of a snake. You shred it. Mm -hmm. You put your piss in there. You wrap it around your neck for about two, three days. And you drink it. Wrap what around your neck? Your snake? piss. Your piss. So, what right. do you mean wrap it around your neck? The only way to hydrate yourself in the desert is to get the skin, skin, the snake skin, yeah, shred it, piss in it, yeah, wrap it around your, what, your like neck, a scarf? yeah, like a scarf for two days or three days, <laughs> and what happens in the piss is loads and loads of nutrients. Well, fingers crossed for a desert task next week then. <laughs> uh, I'm now joined by Lydia. Yeah. Now, Now, we chatted before you went in the hello. We chatted before you went in the house. Now, yes. I'm going to see if the experience has changed you at all. Okay. You've got three minutes and 14 seconds to answer right. my questions. And when the time is up, you will hear this. <laughs> <laughs> that was Chris. Chris at bedtime. Uh, let's begin. Okay. Why did you thank Denise Van Outen in your birthday speech? <laughs> Because I was in her workout DVD. Were you? Yeah. Oh, can I just pick up that name I just dropped off the floor? <laughs> we haven't got time for all the names you dropped. Uh, to, do you think, right, yes. serious question, do you think you over-egged the famous fiancé omelette just a little bit? Um, I have to publicly apologise to him, yes. I think I've stitched him up a little bit. Yeah. How is he with it all? Is he feeling pretty mortified by the whole thing? I think thing? he still loves me just about. Just about. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Andy, I love you. Go on. He knows that for crying out loud. Uh, <laughs> now, you wanted to be a good role model to young women the world over. The last person to say that was Jerry Halliwell. <laughs> Jerry Halliwell's from Watford, like me. Another one, Clanger. Uh, <laughs> have you succeeded where she failed? Um, uh, oh, what do you think? I'm asking <laughs> you the question, Paxman. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Uh, now, you gave yourself an eight in bed. Compared to, Ooh. compared Ooh. compared to the porn films that you've seen, which seems oh, yeah. quite, which seems quite a liberal thing to say given the conversations that you had in the house. What happened? Um, it was one of Benedict's movies. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Wow. This is what I've was it good? It, it was fantastic. <laughs> we should move on. Uh, now, out of ten, you only gave yourself a two for two faceness. Oh. Ten. Ten. In ten. In hindsight, are you still happy with that, or you like to do a bit of a control I'll, I'll Z? I'll just go up to about a five. <laughs> Hundred. Nine. Five. Uh, Oi! <laughs> you say that you have a heart of gold guarded by armour. Yes. How did the ASL dog burst through that armour to get the treasure? Um, oh, he's just lovely. Yeah, but how did he woo you? He doesn't. He didn't need to. I just. I fell in love with him at first sight. Oh. <laughs> She's on toast. Yeah. Um, would you do panto? And if so, who would you start? Oh my god, I've already done two pantos. I guess who I start alongside? The famous Andy Scott Lee. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you said your standard moves on a date are a black dress. Oh, oh yeah. An ID. 
What the hell do you need ID for? Is it like an internet <laughs> thing? Well, no, because when I used to go, because I've been with my partner for a long time, when I used to go on dates, I used to get ID. It's very embarrassing. So I always what, would... by the person you're on a date with? No, like if you're going to like a bar or a club or something. So, oh, I, used, I, so I always say bring ID. Oh, I see. Uh, right. Is Andy as much under the thumb as the nation suspects? Absolutely not. No? Absolutely not, no. Well, no, don't get... Ooh. <laughs> That's a fair question. No. Because... I just, this is how I explain it. He's the angel on my shoulder and I'm the devil on his shoulder. <laughs> okay, complete the line. It was as hot as noon underneath. Jamie's boxes. <laughs> that is actually true. That is, it was the cherry moon, which is from Take It Easy by 3 oh, I don't know the words. I don't know the words. Oh, I don't think Andy even remembers the words. Oh! <laughs> it was a long time ago. Thank you, Lydia. <laughs> Yeah, and ask Tina what she thinks of BB this summer. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> Tina, Jamie wants to know um, what you make of BB this summer. Um, the most compulsive yet for me. Most yes, compulsive cheers. yet. Cheers, Tina. <laughs> cool. Did I say compulsive? I'm not repulsive. Now, <laughs> oh, interesting. Well, what's been your highlight of this week? Um, probably watching Becky and Ashley talking about how intel well d describing their full knowledge of what's going on in the world today and how they're eager for education and information <laughs> and to broaden their horizons and their intellect do you remember it slightly differently let's have a look <laughs> who's charlie chapman so uh, silent actor well if i can have a clue do you even know who Hitler is oh yeah Right, and what, 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 what was he? What, what was... He was a German. Right, and what happened? I, do I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I actually don't know. I just know he was a German. And he was the... He was ruled... He was the ruler of the Nazis. <laughs> and what are the Nazis? Like? I don't know. What? You guys are just... The German soldiers. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? You guys are being serious right now? I'm 100% serious. I've never, what ever... What is a Nazi? Not, no, I don't know what goes on. I don't want to know what goes on. I don't want to know. Like, I just don't, it's, nothing's ever interested me. No, I don't, I'm not interested in any history, any, I just anything, really. I would love to have seen Becky in her history class. I don't know, yeah. I don't know, I don't want to know, don't Crisps, tell me. cheese and onion or salt Stop and Stop telling me. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. Or chicken so, nuggets. Uh, did the right person go uh, for you last night? Um, in, in, well, in terms of, I think Lydia's much more exciting mm -hmm. than Dina is. Yeah. Um, I think she is argumentative. I think she's intelligent, though. Great body, slightly annoying. Right. But, um, <laughs> Do you know who was sat over there? I know, I ago? know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she does. Uh, now, Lydia didn't fit the kind of usual uh, housemate no. uh, kind of profile. Um, were you surprised that she even applied? Yeah, she's... Um, I, I think for Lydia, in my opinion, it's been about kind of fame. She's obviously accomplished as a dancer, singer, performer, and she is a very attractive girl, very mm -hmm. intelligent girl, but it was about her own fame, about slightly deluded, but uh, I do think it's about her getting on in the business. Okay. I found her far too intelligent than the average yeah. guy who's in there. Oh, right, so that's why you think maybe she's I think that's why her and Benedict have gone, yeah. And um, what were your reasons for going in the house? A big fat check. I thought you might say that. I mean, and, and, and um, it's big and fat. A gastric band. Well, I was a big fat chick <laughs> then. So, uh, gastric band, veneers, and a check. Cha ching. Yeah. Um, so, who's your favourite in there right now? Um, do you know what? It, it's it's. I like Sarah. I think there's no agenda with her. I think she's a pretty girl. That's feel, interesting because she yeah. hasn't had. She's not been maybe as uh, in the foreground as other people. So no, she's she stood hasn't. Out for you. Yeah, because I also don't think she has a game plan. My favourite to win, I have to be honest, is Luke A. Okay. Yeah, I, I think, think he's the most I think genuine, would agree with decent you on that. person. Uh, well, speaking of Sarah, uh, she may be your favourite, but can you tell me? Uh, the facts from the bollocks about Sarah. I'll have a go. Will you have a go? Good. I can usually tell my facts Otherwise from the bollocks. Otherwise, you've got four minutes to film. I just can't do it. OK, uh, number one. Uh, yeah. Contractually, Sarah leaves the Big Brother compound every night at 10pm uh, to stay in a local hotel. She then returns at 6am the following morning. Fact or bollocks? Or as the French would say, fact or bollocks? Bollocks. 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 OK, let's see if you're right. Bollocks. It is, in fact, bollocks. Uh, OK, well done. 
Number two, uh, since being in the house, she's only showered every other day. Disgusting isn't one of the options. Bollocks, so you know. please be bollocks. I'm hoping it is. Let's see if you're right. No, in fact, it's a fact. It is a fact. She's a bit of a minga. She's, she's a pretty she's minga. She's a bit gross, yeah. Mm. Uh, on the first full day in the house, her opening sentence was, that was absolutely soaking wet. Is that fact or bollocks? Oh, I don't... It's too ambiguous, isn't it? I need some context. Let's see if it is a fact. It was a fact. What was she talking about? I'm hoping the weather. I'm hoping the yeah, weather. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's talked about the Queen 61 times. What do you think? Fact, fact. Or... I kind of think it might be. Let's have a look. It's bollocks. Wow. Well, she has actually talked about the Queen 11 times, which I think is right. too much. It's too much. Oh, no, I love the Queen. Oh, no, here we go. You're going to cry as well. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, you ready? Number four. I'm getting booed for saying 11 Listen, times. Listen, this country's... Many. This country's in the mess it's in because of the likes of Fat Becky and Thick Ashley. Wow. I don't think we can blame it all on Becky. Okay, finally, she is... Okay, guys, fact or bollocks, uh, she's Christopher Biggins' niece, but she said that she didn't want to mention it in the house. Fact! What do you think? Um, bollocks. Bollocks. Let's see if it's bollocks. You did very well there. Very well indeed. It was indeed bollocks. Uh, but we kind of wish that one was true. Thanks, yeah. Tina. You can <laughs> actually tell your fact from your bollocks. Right. Um, here's another fact for you. After the break, we'll find out what Lydia's future really might hold. And Jamie will give this audience member, yeah, him. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, he looks scared. He looks scared. Uh, the haircut of choice at the moment. We call it the Scott. See you oh. after this. On the side. Well, that just looks lovely, doesn't it? Do you guys like it? I think it's good. Uh, now, do you guys want to know what's going on in the house right about almost yes, now? Yeah. I thought you might say that. Take a look at this. There was a guy and he had three girlfriends, oh and then he decided one day that he should get married to one of them. So he gave them all five thousand pounds, and he thought, "Let's I'll see what they all do yet. with the money." So the first girlfriend took the five thousand pounds and bought loads of expensive presents for a boyfriend and said, I always want to make you happy and spend all my money on you. Da, da, da. The second one took the £5,000, bought herself some new laundry and made herself look beautiful. And the third Shut up, I'm from there. took the money, invested it, doubled the money, put it in a bank account and said, <laughs> I want us to save for our future. So the man was impressed with all three. And in the end, we decided to marry the one with the biggest boobs. Caroline, attention. Dina, huh? that is not a joke. <laughs> well, I think it's funny. <laughs> there is nothing funny about that, Dina, goddammit. Uh, now, we are already more than aware that Lydia is a successful dancer and she has the best fiancé in the world. But uh, what else is in store for Lydia? Uh, earlier, she met Christopher Robinson, a man who claims he really can tell her future just by going to sleep and dreaming about it. I think we'll find that Chris is actually awake. Chris, oh, you are. I am. I'm Sorry, awake. that was a bit of a, bu a bumpy <laughs> finish there. Okay. Uh, now, you say you can predict people's futures just by dreaming about them. Yes. That's very impressive. And lovely pyjamas, may I say. Thank you. <laughs> Earlier you told me it was just on top, and that really worried me. But there are trousers on the bottom. Uh, so tell us what you think uh, Lydia's future holds for us. Well, a lot of very wonderful dreams I had about Lydia. Um, one of them... <laughs> one of them is to do with her wedding and her honeymoon. And oh. there was a trip to Memphis. So oh. there has to be uh, some kind of an Elvis Presley connection... Uh, with either her you, or future husband. Have you ever wanted to go? Does that mean anything? I've been to Memphis, actually. Is that maybe what you're picking up on? Well, maybe, an old dream? Was it an old dream? It, it, no, actually, I think it was a, more of a big connection with Elvis Presley. Oh, do you, maybe an Elvis Presley ordaining the, the wedding. So when, maybe. So when's it going to be? Uh, I think the wedding's going to be end of October, maybe the beginning of November. Does that sound about right? Yes, it sounds feasible. Yes. Okay, good. I like it, I like it. Um, are you getting anything um, about uh, Andy and Lydia? Um, I was dreaming about this wonderful new house 
that they both go to look at. Oh. Uh, was it the Big Brother uh, house? It wasn't the Big Brother oh, okay. house, no. It was, a, it was a very nice house. The rooms were all empty. Sure. Uh, and Andy and Lydia were going around, uh, and they were kind of spinning around in the rooms with just glee. Oh, wow. Uh, and working out how they were going to decorate them. So, oh, that's quite nice. So there's something really um, nice there. Are you getting, did you get anything in the dreams about Lydia's career? Well, I, I think from the career point of view, it's going to be a bigger career than she thinks it is right now. Oh. So am I not deluded, uh, really? No, I don't think you're deluded at all. Okay. Uh, I think there's this extraordinary uh, lift from now, I suppose. Uh, and in the dream, um, you were in a kind of a swimming pool uh, going round and round in a rubber dinghy. Uh, nice. and, it, and it said... Is you're this not in really... Memphis again? No, 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 no. Uh, you're not really going to get a rest uh, for the next couple of weeks. So, oh, OK. Um, you, early morning TV shows, you're not going to like getting up as early as you have to. OK. Uh, and one of the most important things is... Um, you were singing a oh. song from the 60s, uh, and you were dressed in red leather, uh, a, a red leather suit. Oh, so you're really, right. so you, you're going to have a singing career, whether you, do you, know, whether do you, know you what, like it or not. Do you know what the song was? Well, I, I've been trying to remember what it was, and it was either one of my favourite songs, Bus Stop by The Hollies. That would be convenient, yeah. That would be convenient, <laughs> yeah. <yes. laughs> Let's, Let's hope, hope it's got that. something to do and with that. And it's also convenient she's in red leather. Um, oh, yes, that would be Thank nice. you, Christopher. That was a very good reading, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lydia, I'm going to ask you to go and join Jamie in his phone room now. Okay. Uh, Jamie, she's quite literally winging her way to you. She is running. She's running. She's running. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Alice. Uh, these phones have seen more action lately than the filthy ashtrays in the house. But... Who have I got up first? Who's on line one? I've got Andy from Rochdale. Andy from Rochdale. Hello, Andy. How are you? Hi, Jamie. How are you, sir? Very good. Very good. good. Here she <laughs> is. What would you like to talk about? I'd like to talk about cold custard. Oh, no. Go on. Well, I've got nothing against custard. Don't get me wrong. If you want some custard on your apple pie and it's hot, that's fine. There is no good reason to put cold custard in your mouth. Thank you! Yes. Why would you put something in your mouth that's got the same texture whoa, whoa, whoa. and temperature as uh, something that you squeeze out of the spot? Oh, right, fine, 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 fine. Spot. fine. Uh, cold custard's lovely. It's not. Oh, Jamie, please. It is. What's wrong it's with all you? Right. Okay, fair enough. So if you're in a restaurant, you've ordered your, you've ordered your apple crumble, they've run out of hot custard, but it's the a waiter says, I could pudding, squeeze yeah, a few blackheads on it. Yeah. Are you going to go for that? Blackheads? What the hell are you talking about, man? Uh, who's on line two? It's Lorraine from Harrow. Lorraine from Harrow. Hello, Lorraine. Hi, Jamie. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Have you got a question for our Lydia? Um, actually, well, I'd like to make a comment, actually. Oh. Um, public nominations, I, I think that there should be more of them. Right. Three of the big characters have left, um, in my opinion. Yeah. And uh, for me, there's one left in the house. I think that if the housemates are allowed to nominate next week, he might be in danger. OK. Who is that person? And um, that's Adam, for me. OK. What, what do you think about that? Is, is Adam in trouble? Um, I don't think just yet. I think in a couple of weeks, yes. I think there's other targets like Lauren, Dina and Becky that are going to come first before yeah. Adam... But what about, what, about if the, what about if the public nominated the housemates? Oh, Do you think, would, you, would you have gone if the public had nominated? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's very kind. <laughs> thank you. you. Who's next? Thank you very much, Lorraine. We've got Hayley from Essex. Hayley from Essex. Hello, Hayley. Oh, hello. Hiya, Jamie. Are you OK? Hiya. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Very You're good. You all right? Yeah, yeah, you know, just kind of hanging, really, with, with, with my dog. Oh, good. It's not dog, literally, with Lydia. Um, <laughs> what have you got to ask? Right, what I want to ask... Hello, Lydia, you all right? Hi, yes, thank you. And well done for coming out to all that booing. Thank You're you. very brave. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Um, right, what I wanted to ask, if you had your time over again... Yes. ...would you, say, work on your friendships a bit more? Yeah, I think so. I'm definitely someone I can I can own up. I have seen some of it back, and I can see um, how some of it's um, come across. And I would I would definitely um, trust in people a little bit more than I did at the beginning. I think I I didn't have that much trust in people, and possibly some people that I should have trusted more. So yes, definitely. I don't think all that was your fault, though. It's probably getting sort of up for eviction. Yes, first it was. Night, really, you are it? you are right. That is yeah. That's exactly what it was. And can I also say, Jamie? Yes that um, people from Essex aren't all as thick as Ashley. Are you sure? Because we had Amy Charles on last year. Well, apart from her too. Did you know about the egg? 
I know about the egg. I know about the egg. Would you ever drink a snake? Would you ever drink a snake skin that you'd weed in? Uh, no. Me neither. Thank you very much for your call, though. <laughs> That's it for tonight, but I'll be taking your calls tomorrow as well, so get in touch and tell me what's on your mind. Back to you, Ermintrude. Oh, thanks, Jamie. Uh, still to come, Jamie, we are going up to the house to have a little nose about, because he loves to do that. No doubt they'll be having a party or something. Uh, also, I'll give you the news, and Lydia will give you the performance of a lifetime. It's the stuff of dreams, it really is. <laughs> The TV equivalent of a package holiday, there's free booze for that lot, fake tans all over the place, and everyone has a lovely time. Here's today's news. <laughs> this afternoon at 1.23, Aaron discussed the plans for him and Connor after the show. Luke S. didn't even get a look in. Poor thing. And then uh, they're just saying, like, like, what would you do um, to show Connor a good time? You know, if you have to go and do some activity in the day, like take uh, some beach buggies out. And something like that, I said, and then we'd have to go, we'd have to have all the families, all the, bring all the families together for a big barbecue or something. I said, and, uh, you know, have, maybe have a few drinks and stuff with all the, the lads and the girls and all the, the kids and that together. But then again, I said, because Connor's, like, in touch with his like, feelings, I said, Connor's the type of guy, I said, you could go on a double date, you could fly to somewhere, you could go swim with the dolphins, you know. I said, me and I, Connor, and two lovely ladies, I said, go swim with the dolphins, or you can go on a safari. And she was just like... Go I on said, a safari? Where the fuck do you live? <laughs> no, I mean, like, I mean, I said fly somewhere. Aaron, that is some big plans. An activity day, families getting together, a barbecue, a few drinks, then swimming with dolphins and a safari. That's a pretty hectic 24 hours, I must admit. Uh, later on this afternoon at 4.01, Luke S took it upon himself to surprise Ashley with a romantic picnic on the grass. Let's see how it went. Oh, <laughs> Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> I'm salt sandwiches like you want. <laughs> He's making a picnic with rose petals made out of tissue paper. Mm. Mm. Oh, I need one now. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Thank you. So lovely. Perfect picnic, Pippa. Could only afford three roses, though. <laughs> Mamie roses. Mm. Smell great. <laughs> wow, nothing says romance to me like milkshakes, ham salad sandwiches, and paper roses. He's a keeper, Ashley. Keep that one. Keep him safe. Uh, at 6.23, Lauren was set a new potato of a task. <laughs> she had to choose the two best chefs in the house, and they had to, there's more, there's more. And she had to impress, uh, they had to impress her with their starch-based dishes. Come on. <laughs> Straight in there, then, after, yeah? Right, dude, we need some uh, potato stripping down. Beautiful. Crispy, crispy. Crispy, crispy. Cold drink done. Mmm, smashing. I bet they were mashed after that. I bet it was uh, chipping away at her who to choose. Did she wear a jacket? Uh, if she did, I bet she was roasted. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm here all week. Well, I'm not, actually. I'm just here till tomorrow. Uh, and finally, it was time to announce, because of stuff like that, uh, the best chef. Lauren, you decide. Adam marinated meat. <laughs> it's right the rare meat, yeah. I love Aaron's <laughs> marinade. Oh, so these God. are actually tobacco, salt and pepper um, bacon Back crisps. On. Tobacco infused steak with chips. Classic. Oh. Rare, just as you ordered. Classic. <laughs> it is now time to announce <coughs> who is the winner of the Big Brother potato cook-off. Oh. Oh. And 13. What?
Potato Noki was amazing and I think it's just tipped it forever. <laughs> Uh, I think you'll find it's still 2012, Big Brother. Time flies, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, it's time once again, though, to enjoy the latest offering from Ian and Henry. Bless those little shits. <laughs> Hi, I'm Henry, and this is Ian, and we're doing Hot for the Internet. Henry, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know, man. I, I just realised that... We're not as hunky or cool or fit as these guys in the house. <laughs> we're cool. My mum says we're cool. <laughs> I'm not too sure, man. Just listen to the message that someone's left us. Please leave your message after the tone. Hello. Yes, this is a message for Ian and Henry from me, Alice Levine. I just want to say it's no wonder that you never get the girls uh, because you're not cool, hunky guys like in the Big Brother house. So I hope you're cool with that. Uh, okay, bye, you nuts, you stupid uh, idiots, okay? What a horrible woman. But still, Henry, look, we're not cool now, but I've got this DVD that help us be just as cool as those guys in the house. Check it out! How to be a big brother, how to colon, five easy steps to being a manly man and being an alpha man in the house, including how to get girls and eventually probably get married to her, or a man if you're gay, which is really cool, whatever. Oh, look, it's like what I'm saying. La, 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 that's okay. Cook, cook! A hunk must be able to make sweet meals. Cooking for a lady makes them 49% more likely to give you a hand shandy during sleep time. Well, that's cool, because I whipped up a little something for the lady I got my eye on in the house. You didn't use that chicken from last week, did you? We're making babies. Uh, no. <laughs> Be American. Take Adam, for instance. He's cool and a total dreamboat. I'm the rightest thing from your left, you get me? Damn, we're calling Big Dig, getting them. Lead that. I got a jet ski. For real? Yo, you want to flung a hoop? Chill out, mate. Tiger Wood. <laughs> Bora Wood. Or Hollywood. For real? Have really cool hair. Sometimes it's hard keeping up with fashion. Aaron's sideways flicky hair means that you can coolly flick your hair at girls to attract them. Come here, come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, you like that? Ring your mum. Tell her you're coming with me. And we're gonna buy a fucking load of alcohol <laughs> to drink together. Get really strong muscles. If you're gonna be a cool, tough guy hunk, having big muscles is essential. We don't have to do any exercises. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the summer. <laughs> oh, walk it up. Play it cool with the ladies. Just make out like this shit is not a big deal, guy. You know you talk to girls all the time, treat them mean, keep them keen. I'm the cool. We're not all over each other in the day. Mm. Honestly, You're the best. Come on, baby. We all television. Ain't you heard of Five Star before? Hey, I got a little idea. Why don't, uh, why don't you get up both of our ass? Baby, cool what we say, man. We say, I baby. have no idea what we say. Ah, fuck! Be honest. The best bro mates are always honest, and hunks are honest. Like, I'm friends with everybody in this in this place. You know when I'm honest. Gonna be honest with you, man. Yeah. You're a bloody mess. Yeah. Speaking of which, back to you, Alice. What's that? <laughs> that was nice. We thought we'd just force him to applause. Yeah, um, hi, Ian. Hi, Helen. Hi. Yeah. Uh, where's Ian? I mean, where's Henry? Henry is at my house. Oh, who's he with? My, my girlfriend. That is awkward. Um, okay, well, let's not chat to you anymore because no. there's a tension now, isn't there? Let's go straight to Jamie, who can tell us exactly what's going on with the housemates uh, this very second. Jamie? What is happening exactly at this very second is that it's Siobhan potatoes. is demolishing a jacket potato with cheese and beans. Uh, Becky is, uh, just, just a minute ago, she was picking her teeth with a pair of tweezers. But it's like nice. everybody has been, uh, everyone's settling in for a quiet Saturday night. Looks like they've all had a bath and they've all got the jimmy jams on and they're all having a bit of a pampering session. So, all in all, everyone 
Everyone's everyone's quite relaxed, I think. Aaron's actually is fast asleep. Earlier on, though, uh, Ashley got jealous. Mm-mm. It was a nightmare. Luke S had to cook for Lauren. She did not like it one little bit. Uh, what else? Caroline and Connor <laughs> do not trust Becky. Uh, they were discussing Becky's reaction to Siobhan in the bedroom last night. And they feel that Becky, my Becky, was acting and just playing a game, which is obviously bollocks. Uh, Adam, Adam and Dina have been flirting in the bedroom. But apparently they were only joking. But apart from that, that's about it. Uh, hopefully Becky's going to wash that off her face. She looks like she's been in bed with, uh, with Luke S. But there you go. Back to you, Alice. Mm. All right. Thank you, Jamie. Um, I loved all the dramatic pauses yeah, after everyone's was... names. <laughs> it really built up some tension. Uh, right, OK. I believe the online folk have tweeted their twist ideas. Mm-hmm. Yes. Easy for me to say, what you got? Basically, we asked our viewers what they would do if they were Big Brother. They're quite an opinionated lot. So they we are. had lots and lots of response back. Ideas. So if they were Big Brother, Toby Fry would said he would have blindfold day. <laughs> Did uh, he write it like that? Like, like yeah. that. Uh, but all sharp edges covered, of course. Obviously. He's thinking about Always health and safety. Always think about the health and safety. Yeah. Yeah. Risk place. assessment. Um, Aaron Bates says, make them have sex with each other, Lameo. <laughs> that is a Lameo. Yeah. I'm ruffling in my I'm boots. Not, Who's I'm that from? Aaron Bates. Aaron. Master a bad Bates. Man. I like Carol Duncan. She says, none of the housemates are allowed to talk. Great TV. I don't think that would make great telly, Carol. <laughs> I'd watch Thank it. You. Just, just put them on mute. Uh, Lizzie M, that's four Zs, says, oh. fill the house up with water balloons. Everywhere. <laughs> I like that. I think they wouldn't be able to breathe. It was so full of water balloons. Yeah. Oh, no, no, don't do that. That's th- going a bit further. Yeah, that's going too um, far. Don't course, do that. I'm, I'm, lead- I'm, I'm, I'm going away from you. Whoa, she's, oh, she's, she's actually rolling back. Calm down. <laughs> she does this from time to time. Ian, take over quick. The excitement. Oh, God. Someone, right. someone restrain her. Uh, Steve Purse, housemates... Is she still there? (laughs) I'm just not looking at... (laughs) Steve Purse says, housemates shouldn't be allowed to feed themselves. Big Brother picks who feeds who. At all? Uh, They're allowed to eat, but they're not allowed to feed themselves. Helen, have you... I dare not. I've got a bit on. Courts Gardener says, cover the whole house in whipped cream so that no housemates can eat, drink, get into bed or walk. Why does nobody want them to eat? I don't know. What do you mean cover it in cream? It doesn't make sense. Like literally to capacity with whipped cream. That just doesn't... So they have to wade through it. Yeah. And can I just say, these were highlighted ones on a massive list. These were the best of the best. So you got it. Nothing crazy. but the best. Uh, what else is going on online, please? Um, Lauren Forsyth says, if she was Big Brother, I would use all the food in the house to make one big giant pie. Oh, that's nice. A massive pie, and then with the leftovers, make another pie out of that so you can have a pie pie. Because you can have left. Yeah, I see what you did there. I think we safely say, though, our viewers won't be becoming Big Brother. I think we've got a pretty good one already. Yeah, I think there were some definitely interesting, slightly twisted ideas there aren't they twisted yeah. twists yeah. yeah maybe we can put them forward to the producers well alas brackets thankfully that's all we've got for today uh, thank you to Ian and Helen not in equal measure and to the lovely Tina Malone uh, join us tomorrow Jamie will be uh, taking your calls uh, contact details are on the website that these two will look after uh, we'll be joined by the housemates favourite comedian Jeff Leach and Lydia as well as our very own psychologist Dr Vunke uh, now to play us out backed by the Brian Darling dancers sorry flawless for busy it's Lydia with Umbrella over and out These fancy things will never come in between You're part of my entity Here for infinity When the war has took its part When the world has dealt its cards If the hand is hard Together we'll measure hard Because when the sun shines we'll shine together